Do you know how to properly prepare formula? What about if you need to supplement formula along with feeding breast milk? Do you know how to navigate that? If not, I'm about to give you my recommendations and hopefully answer a lot of your questions. <music> baby settler and I'm also a registered nurse and board certified lactation consultant in the Charleston South Carolina area if you've just found my channel I'm so glad you're here will you take a second to hit that subscribe button at the bottom right corner of this video and be sure to like this video by giving me a thumbs up so obviously when preparing a bottle of formula we want to make sure that your hands are clean You've got a clean sterilized bottle. If you're just buying bottles for the first time, make sure to sterilize them first prior to your first use. And then you're gonna wanna sterilize them every 24 hours in between use using warm soapy water. If you wanna know my recommendation for formula use, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that I am not the expert in that area, so I'm not gonna formally give you a recommendation. For formula use, um, I will say that I don't currently have any babies that are, my youngest is two, <laughs> um, so I'm not currently using formula um so i just went to target and picked up the cheapest thing that i could find so this is not my recommendation for formula i just didn't want to have to spend 35 dollars on a can of formula that i'm not going to use <laughs> um, i will tell you that dr brown's bottles i do recommend dr brown's bottles for breastfeeding babies or babies that are not breastfeeding just in general i feel like these are the best bottles um so you can go head over to Dr. Brown's. I'll put a link in the descriptions here about Dr. Brown's bottles that you can check out. But what I really like about them is they're a standard flow rate and they also have this venting system, which is really helpful for um, gas and helping babies not transfer a lot of extra air when they're doing a bottle feeding. So if you're looking for a bottle, definitely Dr. Brown's would be the one that I would recommend. Okay, so a question I get asked a lot is, does formula need to be warmed up? And the answer to that is no, not necessarily. You can give your baby a bottle of room temperature formula. It can be a little bit cold. It's really gonna be whatever your preference is. Um, now, if you start off warming up bottles for your baby, they may develop a preference for warm bottles, but it's there's, there's no reason that you have to warm a bottle of breast milk or formula um, serving it lukewarm or even just kind of knocking the chill out off of it will be appropriate for use. As far as warming bottles go, you definitely don't ever want to warm a bottle of formula or breast milk in a microwave. So that is not the best. You don't want to do that. You don't want to put breast milk or formula in a microwave. If you want to warm it up, my best recommendation is to run it under warm water. So just run your, um, your sink over there, run it under warm water, get a, a coffee cup or some kind of container that you can store wa warm water in. I'm gonna show you here with my, um, let me find a coffee cup, big coffee cup. So if you had a coffee cup like this, I'm gonna grab some water real quick. So I filled this up with warm water. You could just stick the bottle in just like this, let it warm up for, you know, five minutes, um, and then you're ready to go. As far as thawing out breast milk, you know, you can pull it out of your freezer and you can warm, put it under warm water or stick it in a coffee cup like I just showed you right here. Stick it in a coffee cup of warm water and honestly, it'll be thawed out within five minutes or so. Um, you, you might have to kind of, if it's in a plastic bag, you might have to kind of take your fingers and kind of move the milk around to really help it thaw out, but it really doesn't take very long to thaw out breast milk. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to prepare formula. Um, I'm gonna open up this can of formula here and we're gonna go through the steps of how to prepare. So a couple things that I wanna run through really quick. When you're preparing formula, that was Amos, our dog. <laughs> um, when you're preparing formula, you wanna make sure that you follow the instructions on the back of the box. So this formula says, to make a two ounce bottle, you need two fluid ounces of water and you use one scoop per every two fluid ounces. So that is really, really important that you are following the recommendations on your specific formulas box. So the can or the box or whatever, you really wanna make sure that you're looking at those instructions and that you're following those instructions. So like I said, for this one, it says two fluid ounce bottle, you do two fluid ounces of water in one scoop of unpacked formula. So that's what I'm gonna show you here with this one. Um, you wanna make sure to take a look at the expiration date. So this one says used by May 23rd, 2020. You never want to go past the expiration date. You definitely want to make sure to use it by 
the use by date. And as soon as you crack this open, you will see you have a little, little scoop here. Um, and then there's also another seal and there will be on whatever formula you have that you have to open up. Once you open up this formula, so once you've broken the seal, once you've broken the seal on the front here, one month, you want to use the formula by one month. So if you're someone that's supplementing with formula and not using breast milk or not using a ton of formula on a daily basis, make sure you write the date on this container so that you know when to throw it out. Okay, so in the hospital that I currently work in, we definitely make sure that we talk to parents about proper formula use. So I'm gonna run through that here. Um, for babies that are less than three months old, premature, or have a weakened immune system, it's really important that you prepare the powdered formula with boiling water. You wanna prepare the powder formula with boiling water. So if you're in a hurry or you feel like it's not feasible for you to boil water to make formula, your baby's less than three months old, your baby was born premature, or your baby has a weakened immune system, you wanna buy liquid formula. You do not wanna prepare powdered formula. The reason is, is that Chronobacter can ca be caused by germs and in infant formula. It's a rare but serious infection. So let me back up for a second. Old train of thought was parents were taking the scoop, scooping it out, sticking it on the counter, being ex there was something on the counter that was ex that was exposing um, bacteria into the formula. Parents were putting the scoop back in the formula, closing it up, and that was what was contamin contaminating the formula. But what we found is that Chronobacter um, can be caused by germs in infant formula. So the thought is that even though this was a st sterile can, even though I opened it up, broke the seal, there could potentially be germs in the formula that could cause this rare but serious infection. So again, going back, if your baby's less than three months old, if your baby has a weakened immune system, or if your baby was born premature, you really wanna make sure that you're boiling the water when you're making formula. So the reason is, is if you take this scoop of formula and you stick it in boiling water, when the powder is going in the boiling water, it's gonna kill off any of those germs that are in the infant formula. Um, you know, if you're worried about this, definitely talk to your, your pediatric provider about what their recommendation is, but I'm just gonna tell you guys the best practice here, and then I'll also link in the details below the link to the CDC website where you can get more information about this information that I'm giving you here. Okay, let's talk about formula prep. So. With formula, you, like I said, you wanna read the back of your formula and see what their recommendations are. This formula wants us to do two fluid ounces of water for every unpacked level scoop. So with that, first thing I'm gonna do is fill up this bottle. This is a four ounce bottle, so I'm gonna make four ounces. I'm gonna fill this up with water. So let me do that real quick. So I talked about it a few minutes ago, but with the water, you wanna make sure that if your baby is less than three months old, if you have a baby with a weakened immune system, or if you have a premature baby, you're gonna use boiling water to make this. So technically you would have boiling water that you would boil, and then you would add the powder formula to the boiling water. I'm gonna pretend like the baby that I'm preparing this bottle for is older than three months old um, and does not have those considerations. And I'm gonna make it with water that I have. Um, you know, you can buy nursery water, you can buy water that is specifically for formula, or if you have a filtered water system in your house. Um, I live out in the country, so we have a well, so our water is filtered. You might potentially have a reverse osmosis water system. Just make sure that the water that you're using to prepare the bottle is quality water and that we're not worried about any kind of um, contaminants in it. So this is a four ounce bottle. So to make this, I am going to, whoops, use my scoop. Man, I really am making a mess here. So it's gonna be two unpacked scoops. So the best way that I recommend going about this is to scoop it out and kind of fluff your powder up um, and then you're going to go just like that. So you're not packing it down there. Um, you're just kind of scooping it up. And then, like I said, you can slot it against here. It's one level. So this is one scoop. Be 
two scoops. You can kind of swirl it around and then put the bottle cap on and you can just kind of swirl it around to mix it all up. So this would be a four ounce bottle. So it was four ounces of water and two scoops of formula prepared like the package said on this bottle. And we're gonna use this within two hours or within one hour of our baby touching the nipple. So if you prepare this, you will see that now, if you look at this, I don't know if you can see it, but now it actually looks like we have maybe a four and a half ounce bottle. So I started with four ounces of water and then I added the formula and now I've got about four and a half ounces. So I would not recommend trying to make smaller volumes. Like let's say that your, you know, your body, your baby will take three ounces. Um, it may be a little bit difficult to try and really make a three ounce bottle. I would definitely recommend staying with the measurements on the box here. Um, let's, what you could do is you could make a 12 ounce batch. So you're, you've got six ounces of water and then that would be three scoops. Um, that would be a six ounce or if you're making a 12 ounce batch, you could do, what's the math on that? Um, you would need six scoops of water. So you can see how if you make larger batches, then you can pour out of that larger batch in to make a four ounce bottle. But if we're just making a bottle on the go like this, this is how I recommend preparing it. Um, another tip, you don't really ever want to take your scoop and put it on your counter like this, just because that could be if you had bacteria on your counter, now you've expo exposed your scoop to that and then putting the scoop back in the can um, could potentially cause it to be contaminated. Okay, a couple other things I want to go over. Too much water mixed with formula may not meet the nutritional needs of your baby. So again, really important that you're paying attention to the recommendations on your specific formula as far as mixing water and formula. One thing to know is that you wanna put the water in the bottle before adding the powder to it. Too little water may cause your baby's kidneys and digestive system to work too hard and may cause your baby to be dehydrated. So if you go and put the powder in the in the bottle first and then you're topping it off with water you may not have the right ratio of formula to water so really important to make sure that you're getting those measurements right with infant formula we really want to make sure that we're using it within two hours of preparation and that we're using it within one hour from the start of the feeding so once your baby's mouth has touched this nipple and there is formula in this bottle, you've got one hour to use this. And the reason is, is that the saliva mixed with the formula could start to grow bacteria in the bottle. When you're making a large batch of formula, you wanna make sure to use it within 24 hours. So if you're having to boil water, if you're using powdered formula and you're boiling water to prepare the formula, you can get yourself a formula pitcher and potentially make the full volume that you need for the next 24 hour period, but you wanna use that within 24 hours. Um, so just kind of keep those time frames noted. Another thing to mention about the formula is once a container is open, so that's when you break the outside seal, you break the inside steel, seal, you wanna store it in a cool, dry place. You do not wanna store it in the fridge. The fridge is a humid place, even though it's cool, you wanna make sure to keep it in a cool, dry place. And like I said earlier, it's usually good for about a month, but refer to the information on your formula. So let's talk for a second about mixing formula with breast milk. My recommendation is if you're having to supplement formula with breast milk is to use your breast milk first and then use the formula. So let's just say you're going back to work and you're pumping and your baby is taking more out of the bottle than you're pumping, which is totally normal. Um, that doesn't mean that you have a supply issue. Your baby is always gonna be the most efficient at the breast. So just because you're only pumping four ounces at one feeding when your baby's taking a bottle, that doesn't mean if you were breastfeeding your baby, your baby was only getting four ounces. So I oftentimes hear from parents who are worried that they're only pumping four ounces, but their baby is taking a six ounce bottle. That happens. Um, so if you find yourself in that situation, my first tip is to make sure whoever is feeding your baby is doing a pace bottle feed, but also know that the pump may not be as efficient at removing that breast milk. So going back to that example, let's talk about supplementing with formula when we don't have enough breast milk. First thing I would do is give your baby a breast milk bottle. 
then I would supplement with formula. So how does this look in real life? I'm gonna give you a personal example for my second child. Um, when I returned to work, I never could pump enough to cover his bottles. And so what I would do is I just planned on doing one to two formula bottles a day and the rest of the bottles that I left for him were full breast milk bottles. Honestly, that just took the pressure off of me knowing that I had a full amount of formula to supplement his bottles. Um, and I always ended up a day or two ahead with extra breast milk bottles. So that is one way that you can do it. The other way you can do it is you can technically mix formula with breast milk to make a four ounce bottle. So let's just say you have two ounces of breast milk and you have two ounces of formula. You can combine those to make four ounces. What I would caution about that though, is if your baby doesn't take that full bottle, then you've potentially lost breast milk. Um, you're going to be throwing out that bottle and he may not have taken that whole bottle. So that would not be the way that I would recommend doing it. But again, it's a personal preference. When you are mixing those bottles, it's very important that you mix the formula separately according to the package before you add it to the breast milk. Now, there are times if a baby is born premature, if we're fortifying breast milk, that you might have heard someone tell you to do something different. But I'm talking specifically for a well baby, a term baby, a baby that is not being advised by a neonatologist or their pediatrician that they need to fortify breast milk. I'm just talking about normal formula supplementation. When we are combining breast milk and formula, we're gonna prepare the formula according to the can to get, let's say two ounces, and we've got two ounces of breast milk, and then we are combining them together. I hope this video was helpful to you. Hit that thumbs up button if it was. If you haven't already, don't forget to click that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments about this video, drop them in the comment box below. I see all the comments and respond to all questions. And don't forget, you've got this.